Well, welcome back for another video. Today, the very, very lovely gel wax. It's a squeezy sort of product. It is gel, it is completely clear like lemonade, and it makes the most wonderful, exciting candles. Most fragrances will work in it. So we're just going to make a little bit, see how it goes. Okay, now it's been sitting here in the pot for some time. I always prefer to melt it on the lowest temperature possible. And you just watch it. It just melts very slowly that way. If you have it up too high, it may start to smoke and you will have problems. The issue with gel is that we do have to have it directly on the stove because it does need to get up to 140. If you had water under it, it would only get to 100 degrees boiling temperature. So it does have to go in a little saucepan straight on the stove to get to its melt point of around 140. I've turned it off and if you leave the room, turn it off. If you have this catch on fire, you're in big trouble obviously. So it turns off, if you leave the stove, it turns off. Do a little bit at a time until you're very familiar with it. Okay, it's a fun gel, it's a fun wax. Now if you've poured any before, you'll know that we prefer to pour first. And then put the wick in. With a plain one like this, looks lovely, very cute. The next one I'd like to put in some fragrance, so I've measured it out already. So I'll put in the fragrance and move it around and I'd also like this one to be a little bit blue. So we're going to also now put in some blue. You never put in much colour because you do want to still be able to see through it. So let's mix that up. Lovely, that's going to be fragrant, a soft colour. Lovely. Right, so soft colour, fragrance, and it's ready to pour. Let's just have a look and see if this one's ready for its wick yet. All you need is a little bit of gel setting in the bottom just to hold it still. And that's fine. Twist it if it's not quite in the centre, twist it. And look at that. That's made. That's beautiful. Okay, now these ones I've prepared, I put their wick in first and held them in position with shells. Shells are very pretty because with the gel you can see through it. If you're going to put anything into the wax, make sure it's not flammable. So you could put in pebbles, you could put sand on the bottom, you can put in some glass stones, um, little glass pieces. There's a lot of things you can. You can hang fish from a, a fishing line and then take the fishing line out later and so you have fish in the gel. These are very small ones so I wouldn't try doing that in this size. So now I'm going to just pour this one and then I'll straighten the wick into place. So this one's going to smell gorgeous, look gorgeous. And I'll just get that wick back into the centre before we lose it. And there it is. Okay. So I could put a stick there just to hold it in place. And we're in business. Finish my pour, I'll just complete this one. If there's air bubbles coming out, we will grab them and um, break the bubbles so that you don't get them sitting around the top. You can see them coming up, they're coming out of the shells. It's good to have the waxed wick in the centre so that you don't have any issues with having to wax it later. And also the wax has infiltrated the wick so you don't get bubbles coming out of the cotton wick either. So just simply stand it in the center, poke the bubbles that are coming up. Can you see them popping up now? They're coming from the bottom. So while it's still hot enough, you can actually grab them and pull them up. There you go. So that's a better finish because we got them first. And then a simple one at the back with no shells in it. And I'll put the wick in after I finish the pour. It's really not a scary wax. The only problem is it does need the extra temperature, so you must stay with it. It does go directly on the stove, so don't move away. If you do move away, I'll tell you again, 
turn it off and then you won't have any accidents there you go so we've just made four little candles just like that they'll just cool like that you don't get the contractions um, you don't get the cracking you don't get the dips you don't get the pull away you don't get any of those issues with gel wax they look gorgeous when they um, burning they actually glow through the wax, which you don't normally get on other candles. So I hope you enjoy it, and I hope that you do it safely and enjoy the whole experience of jelly wax. Thank you. Little glass tea lights are wonderful for this as well. Don't forget, you can always use tea lights. People love tea lights. These are going to smell and look great. So there we have it. We'll put the tea light wicks straight in. I'm using the biggest one we have, the one that we would use for... Um, beeswax there you go I've chosen blue today just because it's a typical watery kind of color to go with the coconut lime but just remember you can do them any color you can leave them clear if you prefer and there we've made four candles and two tea lights and there's still a little bit left in the bottom that'll just sit there until next time